Hey everybody, this is Mike with uh, Fixing with the Long Brothers. Uh, today I'm going to go over what this video is going to be about. The uh, stabilizing bar, the cross member that we put in there, I'm going to cut all the holes in it and uh, then I'm going to bring it back over here and then I'm going to put it in the, and see if everything fits. And uh, so uh, stay tuned for that, and then I'll come back at the end of the video or during the middle of it sometime. Or whatever. I, don't know. I don't know for sure when I'm going to come back, but this video is about that. And uh, so uh, in the previous videos, you saw that how we put that in there, and I had to grind the ends and, you know, do all that work. And we're back on the engine now. I know some of you were, you know, worried that we were going to just stay on that other stuff forever and powder coat everything. And... You know, uh, we're not going to be doing powder coat and everything, but a lot of it. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoy this video. If you like it, uh, say you do and subscribe. That will help us out a lot, and you can do that if you want. My next step to, uh, to drilling some holes is to put some holes in this piece that we're going to put the stabilizing bar to. So I've got to make sure everything's straight and I get some holes drilled in that. Make sure the stabilizer bar is straight, level, so the engine will run on an even keel, no vibration. So I've got to make sure these all line up straight. So I need something that's going to be level. So I can get these holes straight across. Make sure this is this cross member and these and those holes are straight across from each other. That's what I gotta make sure of. So I'm gonna raise that engine up a little bit, I think. Make sure that those are straight across. That's my task. Okay, we want to here. Let's do the light. Make make sure that it looks like it's out on the bottom, like you say. So it needs to come up. So what we're trying to do is straighten this uh, stabilizer bar up. Line up these. We've got some bolts that just go right there, flush to it, and uh, looks like it needs to go up. So I'm going to crank this up one. It looks like it's straightened up some there. That was feel the bottom there. Feel it. You think a little, little more? more? I'd say. Okay. How's that? That's pretty good. You're filming underneath, and I'll whoop this down there. Can you feel it? Maybe a hair more. Yeah, that feels pretty good. Let's see if it lines up with that hole, asshole. <laughs> I think I just shut it off. No, it's gone. Let's see if that goes straight across. And that's about as close as you're going to get on a Sunday. So now that's where you mark your, your holes in there. I'm going to get a black marker, my black marker pen. Okay, <clears throat> I got a long enough bolt. And uh, make sure that it goes all the way through to uh, the stabilizing bar. Looks like it's level. Make sure that it's straight across and up and down. Looks like that's straight across and up and down this way and this way. Maybe this pin that I've got will work, I don't know.
don't think you're gonna get any closer than that. All right, I'll drill those out and bolt it up. Okay, <clears throat> I got my stuff set up. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the holes in all of these and then go put it on the uh, cross member and see where the holes need to be on that and then bring that whole piece out here and uh, take care of that so put drill holes all in that so I'm sure you guys don't want to watch me drilling 564,000 holes so uh, I'm going to shut this off I'll start drilling here and there's one that's exciting again you get the idea so I got nine holes or eight more holes to drill and then uh, I will be back All right, now I'm going to go in the garage, mark the holes on the, the uh, cross member put in, and come out here and drill those holes. So, see? That's beautiful. I must say, that is absolutely gorgeous. One of those. Where's the other? There it is. There's the other one. And now, like I said, I'm going to go put those on the cross member that we bought and this is for the stabilizing bar again and uh, now I'm going to go in the garage and put the marks on there and I'm going to bring that piece out here and then drill those holes probably have about eight or nine holes to drill one step closer if you like this video subscribe and say you like and we'll keep putting these videos out in a high quality like that's the one. I'm marking the holes on the cross member here. See I marked that pretty high. Give me an idea. I can't see what the hell I'm doing. It's because you're blind. Now this one, we'll just call this number one, or, yeah, number one, and we'll call this one number one. Which side was up? do the other side. That just fell. You had the piece fell. Just marking the holes. Marking the, the cross holes. member to drill. Oh. Mark these holes now I get the thing all bolted up. So this is number two side up, this side up, number two, two. this is number Don't you have to mark it on two, the number yeah. two, okay, it's a big puzzle. Taking the cross member out, or the uh, stabilizer bar, i got to cut that big hole in it, two, Alright, those three holes, those three holes, assholes, and you got those and, marked. And these are all marked. Okay. And then I gotta drill this out. Yeah. I'm out of, I wonder if I got into that. Oh I did. That bracket. Well, that hole doesn't need to be that big. You got it. Well, I can move it over too. You got it kind of big. I'm gonna cut these holes first for sure, and then put that hole over here further. That's what I'm gonna do. Well, you got that. Look at the hole. Sorry, you were gonna measure this. You're not ready for that anyway. But you were gonna measure this. Remember? 
was a four inch hole, I know that. Yeah, that's that's big. That's bigger. Okay, I got my cross member out here. Here it is, uh, nighttime again. But that's okay. That's what I that's what I live for is nighttime because I'm a vampire. <clears throat> I've got six holes to drop uh, to drill for the, uh, the mounts, the brackets to hold it on the cradle, and uh, then I got the stabilizer bar holes to drill also. So there's several holes I've got to drill. So here we go again. Some exciting times in Ridgemont High. You got those three holes there. Those three holes there. And then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes there. So, seven and six is 13 holes. So, here we go again. Let me make sure. Now these have to be pretty precise. Now, wish me luck. Steve shows up and it's done. <laughs> I heard you out here squeaking. Good. Yeah, that was a squeaker. It's a squeaker. Oh, they're all done. Yeah, you got it all? Yeah, it's all done. Cool. Good job, princess. I was in there dancing with mom. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, she was having fun. She enjoyed the bowling last night. Yeah, I have to do it again. Tell she me. was she was ready to quit though. Yeah. She didn't even want to do it at the start, and then I said, "Okay, we'll watch, we'll watch this show, then we'll bowl, and then we'll watch another show." <laughs> yeah. Well, Since that worked good. Yeah, good. Good, 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 good. All right, these holes are for the stabilizing. Should we go see if it fits? Well, we're gonna have to, but I've got. I want to get this cleaned up. I'm. 
I don't want to have to do that again. I'd have to cut the piece and everything. Oh, I know. Hopefully it works. <laughs> I want to see why. Cool. Would. Hold it up. Sideways. I got oil all over that. I'm gonna oh, get. Okay. Let me get some paper towels. Well, and I can see. I can see it. But that's pretty cool, Mike. Hopefully it fits. <laughs> Hopefully our calculations are correct. Looks good. <clears throat> we'll see. That's from uh, making your own thing, huh? Yep. The worst it can do is not fit. Hey guys, uh, I just got through cutting all this up. Uh, well, it's actually uh, the next day. But anyway, uh, I had to cut uh, the hole with the hole saw. You saw that. And uh, I've got uh, 13 other holes, I believe it is. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 holes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on there and uh, see if it, I can get the bolts through there. See if it all lines up. See if it lines up and if I need to go get down to get another piece. Then if that, I got all the, I got all the bolts lined up down here. I got the nuts over there. I've got washers. I don't know if I put all the washers in there or not, but I'm going to see if I can get this in there and line these bolts up. And you'll see what I'm, t we're talking about on the, uh, This thing's pretty heavy. Tip it up there and I'll get it. But it's not for a strong man. It's not heavy. There, that's it. Let me just come this way. And in there a little bit. I think that's it there. Okay. Now, this is going to be pretty hard to get those bolts in that hole. Because they've got see if I can line that up a little bit. Now I've got to put these in here. Alright, that one lined up. I'll get a nut on that one. Get a stupid nut on that one. I don't think I'll bolt them all up. Well, maybe I need to because I got to get those braces in there. Make sure they line up too. All right, that one's on. Get this one in there. Went right on. That's good. That's two. Two out of 13. Try this one. Three out of thirteen. Boy, that was smooth as the baby's butt. <laughs> Let's see. Ten more to go. Let's see about this one. That one might on easy. Well, that's good news. That's very good news, boys and girls. Machinists have nothing on this guy, I can tell you that right now. It don't just happen overnight. It, you get to be as brilliant as me. <laughs> and I got good hair. I got all my hair. I got more hair than I was supposed to have, I think. You have hair on your back? Not really, no. What about your legs? No, no hair on my legs. <laughs> it's all on my head. <laughs> it's all on your head. And in your you nose, know, in your ears. Do I have it in my ears? You have a lot in your hair in your ears. No hair in my ears. But his hearing is impeccable. I do have good hearing. Might have to cut this out. Can't cut it further up that way. No. So I have to just cut another. The problem is, it's got to make this turn right into here. Well, I'm even talking about how does this go here and then in here. We'll have to see. Oh, you know what? We got a piece that goes over here. This is for the oil cooler. The, the radiator hose goes in here and into the oil cooler. 
what goes on there. And then the hole I drilled, I had to move it over for the bracket to work. So look through the hole, see if you can see it. Is it gonna yeah. Hit, is it gonna hit there? It should be fine. Hold is it gonna hit? No, that should be fine. That's good. I can see it straight through. Wish we had a hose to stick through there. It's fine. Trust me. That's good. So all these uh they're all went in, huh? Yeah. Now it's just the mounts. Alright. That's good news. Chickadees. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's just shows you that it'll fit. Alright, I'm gonna put this bracket on there before. So I made a mark on here number two on this side up. So it goes in here. And then uh, these bolts, it's perfect, perfect. I'm so wonderful. So that started on there. Yeah. I want to tighten these up pretty good so I can see how much I need to bend those. Well, all the bolts hold on. Hell of a job, hell of a job, I must say. Hell of a job. Right there. See, that's pretty close right there. Yeah, that's great. Well, that's yeah. Some people said move the brace back, move the existing brace back. We didn't want to do that. We felt like uh, just make another one and just secure it because we didn't want to take all these beautiful molly bolts out and all that stuff and you just move it back might have been uh, an option but then all this stuff was even riveted on that little brace right there this little brace right here was riveted on and actually welded to the brace here so it's part of the whole structure just didn't want to do it Felt like this way was the best for us anyway anyway it sure beats the hell out of the spacers that leon put in there right oh i'd say yeah they all line up yeah good well it looks like uh you got lucky uh-huh <laughs> you got lucky on that cart too pretty lucky guy very lucky. All right, there. That's all on there. All thirteen of them. I think our idea was great. And okay, now we're going to take all of this off. Going to take the uh, stabilizer bar off. Take this all down to get Leo to powder coat it. Right? Yeah. That's the next step. All right, Mike, good job. <laughs> oh, I know what you're going to do.